Okay, once again, it's your spiky-haired, crazy man, the, the ever-lovable Jeff Raccoon 47 here to talk to you a little bit about something. Well, as you know, there's certain members of the Republican establishment, the old, they're not really the old guard, they're mostly a bunch of rhinos and, and, and corporate suck-ups that don't like Donald Trump. Well, Guess what? They go up here and do all this bad mouthing Donald Trump and and oh Donald Trump's going to ruin the country. He's going to do this, but more than likely he's going to get elected. God forbid Hillary Clinton get elected, but Donald Trump's going to more than likely get elected. And guess what? These same people that were kissing that were. Wanting to kick his butt, or are going to be the same ones who start to kiss his butt whenever he gets in office? They're going to be like Associate Bob in the movie Demolition Man. Remember Demolition Man? Remember Associate Bob, the guy that Glenn Shaddix played? Every every time some uh, new guy would come along, when Raymond Cocteau got killed and by Simon Phoenix, and Simon Phoenix was sitting in his office, he was he was up there. Sucking up to Simon Phoenix. Then when Simon Phoenix finally dies at the end of the movie, he's, he's sucking up to Edgar Friendly. Well, that's the way these guys are. I'm not saying that they're gay or anything like that. I'm just saying that they're suck-ups. They're brown nosers. They're sycophants. They're sycophants to the corporations. Nothing wrong with corporations. I'm all for corporations. Corporations are good. But when you suck up to them just for political favoritism, that is wrong. That is corporatism. Corporatism and fascism are two different things. Fascism is a form of, of socialism. So is Nazism. So is communism. All three are forms of socialism. But the point people don't get is that Trump is probably going to shake things up. He's probably going to... Make it where corporations don't have to give when you have to give to the politicians because if he reduces corporate taxes, then the corporations are not having to pay as much taxes, so they don't have to go and constantly give to politicians to make sure that they they're not ta overtaxed like they are. Corporations pay a lot of taxes. I'm not against corporations paying taxes. I'm all for it, but it should not be at a level where it ruins productivity. That's what's ruining productivity in our country today, is over-regulation and over-taxations of companies. And it isn't just big companies, it's small companies that get, get the shaft. And I think Donald Trump knows this. Now, everybody's going to say, well, you're in the bucket for Trump. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. That's not the point. You're going up there denigrating a the guy who who has new ideas. Ronald Reagan was an outsider. He went, the Republican establishment hated him because he, he did not come from the same group of long group and line of lawyers and, and corporation people and all. But he was a relatively good president. I grew up as a teenager doing and I liked him. I voted. He was the first president I voted for. Well, I'll let you go and have a nice day.